July 2005, you had the global call for a boycott, divestment and sanctions movement, BDS. So for example, for a student union to call on the university administration to divest from companies that were involved in uh, you know, financial transactions or interactions or investments with companies that have links to the Israeli military machinery or the Israeli state. If you're an artist, you could express your solidarity by deciding to not uh, participate in any sort of cultural work that uh, had any links with Israeli state institutions. What BDS did is it gave like a very specific tool that, that I think empowered Palestine solidarity activists around the world and it was a very imp important turning point I think. We wanted to launch this uh, initiative uh, imaging apartheid as a way to try to give some voice artistically on the streets to this BDS campaign and as a way also to engage and to work with artists to collaborate on uh, poster art, street art uh, that could communicate this growing movement. What we do is uh, we put the posters up on streets, right? So why are we doing that? Well, there's the issue of trying to communicate with not a lot of resources. We also see it as sort of an intervention in a sense that uh, we are not paying for ad space. Uh, what we're doing actually is breaking the law and putting posters up on the street. This was just from a few days ago. We put up a bunch of posters uh, after the bombing started. This is at an event uh, during Israeli Apartheid Week. This was at the rally on Wednesday uh, in Montreal and um, with the posters. When we look, for example, to uh, our own history in Quebec, where we see um, you know, movements um, for social and economic justice generations ago, often it's, I, it's sort of communicated or given a certain iconography through poster art, through archive, through references to images, through symbols. So it's really um, through this narrative, through this framework of understanding the role of poster art in communicating the existence and the emergence of a movement. <laughs> Demonstrating is important because it can assert a certain urgency and a certain intensity about what's happening and perhaps force, um, perhaps force an end to the current military campaign. But what's more important is addressing the systemic issues because it's, it's those sent, the non-addressing of those questions, the, the refugee issue, uh, the, the Israeli occupation, apartheid policies that allows the infrastructure and the framework for this Israeli repression and, and, and military um, violence against the Palestinians to take place.